Branton Joe tells his hometown why the U.S. should fire Mar-a-Lago Dawn. Biden condemns Trump's apprentice lines as he rips rival for inheriting wealth and tanking truth social stock. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Quiet Part Podcast. My name is Chris. How's everybody doing? Got this story to get through, so let's get down to it. President Joe Biden returned to his birthplace of Scranton, Pennsylvania, Tuesday to tell workers why they should trust his economic policies over those of former President Donald Trump. Biden told voters, where you come from matters. And characterized Trump, his 2024 Republican rival, as a man who both squandered his own money and back policies to help the rich, not the working class. I disagree, but you know, hey, may, maybe I'm just too dumb to know these things, right? I, I, I know where my money went. I know that under Trump, my money grew significantly faster in the previous eight years. I know since Trump, my money stopped growing nearly as much. But hey, don't believe your lying eyes, guys. When I look at the economy, I don't see it through the eyes of Mar-a-Lago. I see it through the eyes of Scranton, Biden said. Trump, he said, learned very different lessons. He learned the best way to get rich is inherit it, the president said. Not a bad way, he added, as an audience members laughed. He learned that paying taxes is something that people who work for a living did, not him. How, how did he learn that? We... We saw his leaked tax return that showed he paid a massive amount of taxes one year, and it was after he was able, had a massive loss. He still paid taxes. We saw that. You know, they fought very, very hard to get copies of his tax returns to see, look, 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 guys, look, look, he didn't pay. Oh, sh crap. It got leaked and he did pay. Oh, man, we got to find a different way to attack him. No, no, they just buried that leak and said, oh, that's, that can't be real. Don't believe your lying eyes, guys. Trump has never voluntarily released his tax returns when running for office, nor should he. I think it's the dumbest practice. You have to do financial filings for the FEC, and they check into that. But why, does, why is showing your taxes a necessary thing? Um, let's see, never released him, though a New York Times report from 2020 found that he paid $750 in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017. That was after like a $35 million loss. Uh, Trump also paid no federal income tax for 10 of the previous 15 years due to losing so much money from his business dealings. Again, that's the tax code. The tax code allows him to do that. You get to carry a loss forward for a very, very long time, especially in business. He learned that telling people you're fired was something to laugh about, Biden continued, using Trump's famous apprentice line. Well, that's because the American people watched his show and liked it. He had high ratings for saying that. He had standards. He put people through the test on the show as it was laid out, and it was his tagline. Is that a bad thing? If it was, why did so many people tune in and watch it? Why did so many people recognize the line? If it would have been a bad line and people considered it a bad thing, they wouldn't have been watching. No, they watched anyway. They chose to watch. I guess that's how you look at the world when you're Park Avenue and Mar-a-Lago, the president added. Growing up in Scranton, Biden said, nobody handed you anything. You paid your taxes. You made sure that being told you're fired wasn't entertainment. It was nightmare and people worried about. Hey, I've been fired. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. It might even happen again someday. Guess what? We move on. You continue to push forward and that's the way of life. I don't think it's funny that he says it. I don't think it's funny. I, I didn't really care. The show had its purpose. It was built around that. People loved it. End of story. Rolling over his words a bit, Biden noted that all I knew about the people like Trump who looked down on us, they wouldn't welcome us in our homes or at their clubs. Clubs that he got a free membership to? I remember that story. Do you guys? Uh, Biden then made a few cracks at Trump's current financial woes. 
The president reiterated his promise never to hike taxes for Americans making less than $400,000 annually. I don't believe you, Joe. You have not said a true thing for 50 years. If Trump's stock in True Social, his company, dropped any lower, he might do better under my tax plan than his. It's possible. Why? Stocks rise and fall all the time. That's not going to guarantee that he's going broke. He made $4 billion, okay? So he can lose a little bit of money. No big deal. And he didn't actually have that money. It was stocks that he owned. <laughs> Biden then repeated the joke he's been telling it at his closed-door fundraisers. You know, I've already been delivering real results in a fiscally responsible way. How, how is that, Joe? You've been spending money left and right in the worst ways possible, without congressional approval, without a care in the world. You just keep spending it, and we're paying for it. You know, the people you say you're trying to help, us, we are paying for this, and it's not helping. fiscally responsible way, but I know not everyone's feeling it. Just the other day, a defeated looking guy came up to me and asked if I could help. He, he was drowning in debt. I said, I'm sorry, Donald, but I can't help you. The president said to laughs. How is Donald drowning in debt? He's paying off his loans. We know this because Oh, wait, we don't know this because they didn't allow that in evidence. They didn't allow the banks that lent him money to go up on st the stand and say, we were happy with our business dealings with Donald Trump because he paid us back. He paid us back on, on, on time and with the interest that he owed. 100% would do business with him again because there was nothing wrong with that. They're trying to make Donald Trump look out, look like this guy who doesn't care. Donald Trump has given plenty of money to charity. Donald Trump has given plenty of money in other ways. Donald Trump has paid his taxes. But don't you believe your lying eyes? Joe Biden cares about you, and he would never take your money, except when he does, when he devalues it, when he makes you worse off than you were yesterday. When he puts your great-grandchildren further in debt, I'm not giving Trump a pass on this either. Trump's spending in his final year was abhorrent. I understand the pandemic brought about rough times and we had to spend more, but it still shouldn't have happened that way. We still should not have printed $5 trillion and only a couple hundred million went to the American people. That shouldn't have happened. It did, though. And we have to deal with it. That doesn't mean we need to spend our way further out of debt only to create more debt. It doesn't work that way, Joe. It never has and it never will. Stop lying to us. Maybe people would like you better if you didn't lie to everybody all the time. You're, you're threatening to make more student loans forgivable. So you're going to tell people they don't have to pay their student loans back, but you're going to make them pay it back through their taxes. You're going to make people like me who are still paying on student loans because I'm a responsible person. I took out the loan. I'm paying it back. But now I still have to pay back my loan and then and through my taxes, pay back all the loans being forgiven. Where does this end? At what point do people look at the stuff he's saying here and realize, no, Joe, we don't trust you. I don't care if you look like that gentle, friendly grandfather figure that everyone just loves. Grandpa Joe, Grandpa Joe. No. Your words matter. The things you say and then the actions that follow matter more than your weak platitudes and disingenuous lies. Yes, Joe. Elections have consequences, and you will see that in November. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. All right. Thank you for tuning in. That was a good episode. If you like it, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, even that notification bell. 
and you will get notified anytime I release more content. You can also follow me on X at Real Chris Noski. On Instagram, I've now got an account set up there, The Quiet Part Pod. And of course, here on YouTube, The Quiet Part Pod. Uh, with that, I will see you guys next time. You have a good t- day.